Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a dynamic Gantt chart using a scroll bar in Excel. We'll start by quickly setting up our Gantt chart, and then we'll discuss how to make it dynamic using a scroll bar. Firstly, select the start date, go into the insert tab, and then select a stacked bar chart. Next, let's remove the chart title, and next we'll add the duration data. To do this, right-click the chart, click Select Data, and then click the Add button. The series name is Duration, which corresponds to cell E2, and the series values are the values in the Duration column, so E3 to E12. Finally, we can click OK. And next, we're going to add our project tasks to the y-axis of the chart. To do this, click Edit under Horizontal Axis Labels. Once the axis label opens, select your project tasks and then click OK. The chart will now look something like this. Next, click on any blue bar, right-click and then select Format Data Series, and then remove the fill color and remove the borderline as well. This will ensure that only the duration of the tasks between the start and end date are showing. You'll also notice that the tasks in the Gantt chart are in reverse order. To overcome this, click on the tasks and then select the Categories in Reverse Order option. Therefore, the tasks are now arranged in chronological order, and the axis containing the dates has been moved to the top. We can remove the excess white spaces between the bars by right-clicking the orange bars, selecting Format Data Series. We can then ensure that series overlap is 100%, and set the gap width to 0%. Finally, we can apply a gradient fill as follows. Now our Gantt chart is complete, we can consider how to integrate our scroll bar to make it dynamic. To start, let's add our intermediary calculations, which are crucial for dynamically controlling which portion of the timeline is displayed. The start date of visible data is the earliest date that appears on the horizontal axis of the Gantt chart at any given moment. This date will change dynamically as you move the scroll bar, allowing you to control which part of the chart is currently in view. We can calculate this by adding the current scroll bar value to the project's earliest start date which is the 5th of June 2024. The end date of the visible data is the latest date that appears on the horizontal axis of the Gantt chart. If we want to show seven days at a time, this will be the start date plus seven. We want the spacing to be one day between, so we can type one for the spacing. And as a reminder, the scroll bar value is the current value of the scroll bar control. This value will change as we use the scroll bar and will influence the start and the end dates. Next, let's add our scroll bar. Ensure that the developer tab is showing in order to do this. In the developer tab, click insert and within ActiveX controls, select the scroll bar and insert it below the Gantt chart. Next, in the Developer tab, ensure that Design Mode is selected, and then right-click the scroll bar, click Properties. First, let's change the linked cell to cell G3, which corresponds to the scroll bar value. Let's also ensure that the minimum is zero, the small change is one, 
and the large change is one as well. This ensures that as we scroll, it moves one day at a time in line with the spacing setting that we decided on earlier. For the max, find the difference between the end date and the start date in your project. In our case, this is 41. In other words, the 16th of July minus the 5th of June. However, since we want to show seven days or a week at a time in our chart, we deduct seven to give 34 as our max value. So 41 minus seven gives us 34. We can then exit the properties window. And finally, let's change the name of the charts to Gantt charts, as we will re refer to this in our code later. Now that we're all set, let's go into the developer tab. Let's go into Visual Basic and let's insert a module. Once we've inserted our module by going into insert and then selecting module, we will add the following code. In other words, what we are saying is we want to activate the chart in our sheet. And with this chart, we want to set the minimum value to the value in cell G6, the maximum value of the horizontal axis to the value in cell G9, which is the end date, and the major units should be the spacing, which is found in cell G12. Finally, we want to activate this macro each time the scroll bar changes. To do this, we can go into the sheet we are in within Visual Basic, so the dynamic Gantt chart sheet, and we can insert the following code. This is telling Excel that when scroll bar one, which is the name of our scroll bar changes, then the macro we just wrote should be executed. Let's test it out. To test it out, let's remove the design mode, so unselect it, and then let's use the scroll bar. So as you can see, the start date is the 5th of June. When we click to the right, it shows the 6th of June until the 13th of June, in other words, a week. Let's keep scrolling. As you can see, the Gantt chart adjusts dynamically. The final end date, when we scroll to the end, should be the 16th of July. Let's test this out. As you can see, it is indeed the 16th of July. And the scroll bar value is 34, which is the maximum value that we used earlier for the scroll bar property, which corresponded to maximum. So that's how you can create a dynamic Gantt chart using a scroll bar in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.